This new shelter here at the convention center will be funded with federal tax dollars, although it's still not clear how many children will be housed here or exactly when it will be operational. It's a human right for these children to receive some sort of protection. As the convention center downtown closes down the homeless shelter it's been hosting for the past year, the landmark building will soon serve a new purpose as a temporary shelter for unaccompanied migrant children seeking asylum. It's a very traumatic, very stressful. The convention center is much better than some of the places that they've been held at. Enrique Moronis of the local nonprofit Gente Unida says the large space offered by the convention center makes it a suitable location as the pandemic continues. The one unique thing about this year, in contrast to previous years, is of course the virus. So you want them to be spaced out. This announced use of the convention center comes as new images surface of cramped conditions inside a temporary shelter facility in Texas, as the number of unaccompanied minors housed by the Department of Health and Human Services currently exceeds 11,000. According to HHS, the convention center will be used as a temporary shelter for about three months, open to migrants 17 years and younger. The children will be provided with a place to sleep and bathe, as well as food, medical care, and a recreation area. The average stay will last 30 to 35 days, with the goal of connecting them with family in the United States. Hopefully those children will be united with their families quickly. Morona says once the shelter's up and running, his nonprofit has offered to provide the children, many of whom are fleeing violence and chaos in their home countries, with specialized dance therapy, which is already being offered via Zoom in migrant shelters in Tijuana through a program called Music Ambassadors of Peace. It's been proven that it really helps them emotionally. And earlier today, Jewish Family Services, which has run previous shelters for migrant children, put out the call for volunteers as well as additional staff members to help run this operation.